Hello guys, welcome to Trace Team. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss none of the videos that I post. In today's video, it's election day for Fonnie Willis. The only issue is she seems very nervous. Reason being, it's because of the past history that she has. You know, with like misplacing funds and her and the Nathan Wade situation. Well, she went on MSNBC and she had a complete meltdown. Check this out. This strikes me very close to my heart because I feel like this is one of the first times I've seen people standing up for you on this point. I wanted to ask how it strikes you. Do you agree with their assessment of what's going on? Well, um, as you know, let's start with the federal government and Jim Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jim Jordan has time after time after time attacked my office um, with no legitimate purpose. Anyone who knows Jim Jordan's history knows that um, he only has the purpose of trying to interfere in a criminal investigation. He has now turned his tricks to he's going to look at grant programs, which I invite him to do, and we have complied with his subpoenas, but yet he continues his attacks to try to interfere in a criminal investigation. While all while his jurisdiction has one of the worst crime rates, has poverty issues, um, and not one time has he used his position to try to investigate people who are attacking me and attacking others legitimately doing their jobs, making him illegitimate in his position, um, and it's disgusting. And so I bring that up at the federal level because now at the state level, they've decided to follow this clown's lead. Mm -hmm. And they want to now try to interfere in an investigation. Um, and it's not legitimate either. And so it shall fail. And it's not going to go anywhere. But they are trying to attack me at every level. As you know, today is an exciting day for me because I'm on a ballot tomorrow. And I have a Democratic challenger and I plan to win and win big tomorrow. But I also have a Republican challenger coming up in November who's unqualified, been practicing law for less than four years, has never practiced criminal law, but has already got PACs supporting her, already has the National Democratic Party, excuse me, the National Republican Party, as well as the local Republican Party supporting her. And so I am thankful to those three Democrats who stood up for what is right. But I am at a point where I need Fulton County voters to get out and vote. I need people around the country to support me big and small to say that we are going to be a country that still believes in the rule of law. We are not going to allow people to be attacked while they do their job. Having prosecutors that are free from interference and are allowed to just look at cases, look at the facts, and if people brought the, broke the law to bring charges, has to go on for us to live in a free society. The sad part, though, for all of them, Ms. Maddow, is it doesn't matter how many times they attack me. I am not going to be broken, and I am going to still be standing here doing my job lawfully. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, um, I know it's a very busy time with the primary tomorrow and with everything going on uh, in your life and the slings and arrows that you are dealing with. Thank you for being willing to talk with me and, and, and my audience tonight about this. And good luck to you. Stay safe. Thank you. So, guys, there you have it. She's very nervous about the competition she has. She has a Democrat she has to compete with. She also has a Republican she has to compete with. And it looks like she had a little bit more to say about the Republican than a Democrat competition. But she says she's not worried. We'll see about that. That'll be a wrap of today's video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.